Hey guys, Coco Bunny here. Um, I've been having a lot of you guys ask how to install brushes since, like, my tutorial only covers so much. So I decided to do a video tutorial to help those of you who are having trouble still. So first thing you're gonna do to install a custom brush, like from my brush pack, I'll include a link in the bottom, or my freebie pack, I should say, is you go here to install bitmap brush, or add brush bitmap, and you navigate to wherever you have it saved. For instance, I have all mine saved in, like, specific folders in my art folder under brushes and when you open it up like when you unzip my pack you'll get this whole clutter of folders um for now i am going to demo installing the bit crayon brush and so you grab the alpha which will just say bit crayon brush and hit open and it'll send you to this menu um Obviously, here's the name. You can switch the types. So there's bitmap, which just does it in a line, multiplies it, does it at any thickness. There's scatter, which does the same thing, except for it scatters it around where the center of your brush is with other options. Um, and scatter watercolor, which does exactly the same thing as scatter, but it blends better. Um... So, my Big Cram brush, if you look at the settings, is a scatter brush. Um, you're going to want to go over and look at the settings, which is also included. It'll say the name of the brush and the settings I used to get the effect in the preview. And so, as you can see, the scatter strength here is going to be at 100%. The particle size also will be at 100%, and so will the particle random. Then, of course, there's the color jitter, which moves it up and down in value and in saturation, and the hue jitter, which changes the color on the color wheel. Um, both of those for this brush are set to zero. So, and then you also have the minimum width, which just says how thin your brush can possibly get. If you're using a mouse, this doesn't really apply, but for tablet users, it just bases it on how hard you're pressing. So for the Bitcram brush, it is actually set at zero. And then the width is just how big your max brush size is. Um, the default when you install a brush is 70. I like to keep this one around 30, but really you can use it at any size you like. Um, I like to, for my settings, I turned off opacity by pressure, which just means that no matter how hard or soft I press, it'll have the same opacity. Like it won't be more opaque here and have it more solid here. So it's even solidness. So then I hit OK and voila! The brush is installed and that's it. Thanks guys! Again, this is Coco Bunny over on DeviantArt. I hope this helps! 